Hi, it's me, Joyce, just talking, just singing, and coming at you in the middle of August. It's August 15th. Hope you're having a wonderful summer. I am. And uh, actually today, i, I got to show you, I'm wearing my uh, friend Jennifer Herbert's beautiful designer t-shirt. This is uh, by her. She goes by Lipstick and Dirty Boots, and she's fabulous, a wonderful artist. Let me just move my mic so you can see this shirt a little bit better. Hold on a second. Anyway, I love it. I love this shirt. And I also uh, gave myself a little fresh haircut today. <laughs> I gave myself a little French bob because I was a little bit um, messy for a while. <laughs> so I have the ooh-la-la -la again. <laughs> okay. I really like this. It's so easy. You can find out how to do these things on YouTube. Save yourself 90 bucks. What can I say? Well, anyway, about saving money. Oh, my gosh. Sometimes you can't. Well, you you decide. I went out um, last week uh, with with someone I know, a friend, acquaintance, you know, sort of in between there. This person, and uh, this person called and said, "Yeah, I want to go out for a coffee." And I said, "You know, that'd be kind of nice. I want to get out." And I thought that would be good. And I kind of like to know this person a little bit better, you know, get to know them. So I thought, okay, that's a good good way to do it, right? Over a coffee. But you can get to know a person in a lot more ways. <laughs> anyway, um, so we ended up not having coffee, but going. We ended up going to an outdoor patio, which was very nice, and each ordered a pound of chicken wings, and that was really great. And uh, it, was, it was nice. The person was treating me, and I thought, how lovely is that? You know, and we ordered a couple of club soda sodas, and they were free refills, so that was that was kind of nice too, you know. And uh, but. Um, when it came time to pay, we had a lovely chat. We really had a nice time, and it was enjoyable. But um, uh, the the server had not come over to refill the soda waters, but um, voluntarily. We never asked them to come over either. If I had wanted more water, I would have just said, you know, I think I'd like some more milk, more club soda, and I would have, you know, called the, the server over. But I didn't. I was fine. Anyway, uh, the server came with the check and was on, left us on for this person to pay. He says, oh, well, I guess he's not going to stay around to see me give him a 10% tip because he never came and asked to refill our club sodas. And I, oh, I just felt terrible. And then the guy came back to, you know, retrieve the Zon, the, um, you know, the little um, transaction. Um, machine. <laughs> anyway, um, and uh, the person I was with basically said to the server, oh, by the way, you never came back to refill our drinks. And he said, oh, I'll do it now. And by the way, the place was just busy. There, I think there was a table of girls, about 20, 20 girls, and another, all, all kinds of tables. It was full. The patio was full, and I'm, I'm pretty sure he was the one serving all of those people. So he was busy, you know. And, um, and then the person I was with looked at the server and said, too late, and glared at him. And it was, it just stabbed me, like sort of cut through my body. And I thought, oh, the poor guy, he's working so hard. I was fine. I didn't need more club soda. And if this person had needed it, they could have just asked. So my point saying, telling this story, because, you know, I, I don't like to tell tales that are, <laughs> you know, but. It's to make a point. And right now, and especially with COVID, you know, uh, the restaurant business has taken a real hit. And the people working there have taken a tremendous hit. And anybody who goes back to work into the restaurant business should be commended because they're not able to get staff. It's really, really difficult. And uh, I'm very sure this, this poor young man was completely overrun by all the stuff he had to do. And... Um, it was rather unfair, I felt, behavior and, and, and treatment of this, this person to, um, to treat the server this way. I would never have done that. And um, I would hope that others also would not do that because no matter what, these people work very hard and they rely on their tips and their small wages to get by. And certainly they've had a tough time the last two and a half years. So 
let's be kind to people who are serving us, kind to everybody. You know, do what Abraham did. Had his tent open, and he was kind to people. He had chesed. And in Judaism, chesed is the most important thing. Second thing that we always um, we always believe in is is it's very important not to embarrass someone. And this embarrassed this young man. And it embarrassed me, too, to be honest, to be with this person who said this. And there are people I will not go to a restaurant with because they are embarrassing. You know, hag- I have one, one person I've gone to a restaurant um, twice with, and that was it. It was two times too many. You know, the first time they, uh, they were insisting on extra service, extra, extra condiments, extra this, extra that. Uh, the other time I went out with this person, they haggled over the bill and s- didn't like what we were served. And it was like, I just, no, thank you. No, that's not my deal. Anyway, um, so let's just be kind, right? <laughs> kind and not embarrass others. That's, that's kind of cool, right? And it's uncool if you don't do it. So be cool. <laughs> be kind. And don't embarrass people. Okay. I have embarrassed people in the past. My <laughs> this is, I'm a little weird. But anyway, uh, this is, of course, Joyce just talking, just singing, so I'm going to get on with the song. And uh, the one that sort of just floated, I always take the song that floats into my head because I, I do believe that, uh, you know, intuitively something will come that's the right song for the right occasion. So this is the one I'm going to sing for you today. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got to just clear my throat. <coughs> <coughs> I just have really bad allergies. I, I apologize. <laughs> okay. There was a boy, a very strange enchanted boy. They say he wandered very far, very far over land and sea. A little shy and sad of eyes, but very wise was he. But then one day, one magic day, he passed my way. And while we spoke of many things, fools and kings, This he said to me. The greatest thing you'll ever learn is just to love and be loved in Nat King Cole made that song very famous and sang it so beautifully and played the piano, which I don't. (laughs) This is a piano I inherited. I'm hoping to learn some chords. Yes, it's turned off. (laughs) So I'm going to turn myself off now and I'm going to leave you with um, 42, which is the answer to life, the universe, and everything, a magical number. (laughs) Anyway, thank you so much for joining me this week. And... Be kind and don't embarrass me.